Walk right over here. Walk What's going way. on over here? <laughs> Not as crazy as that. All right, hey, we've got our friends, of course, from Nerds on Call. Ryan is back hey with guys. us this morning. Okay, I am so intrigued, all right, because you say all of our little gadgets are oh so dirty, and I'm oh. so scared because my daughter is always playing with my phone. And it is the one of the most disgusting pieces of equipment we carry with us every day. One in six cell phone, according to a study released last year, last October, uh -huh. one in six cell phones, poop. Stop poop on it. it is disgusting. No. By poop, you mean actual fecal poop? metal? Yeah, <laughs> one in six. That's what just horrible. Do you but it's well, I guess that might be a generic term for just. <laughs> but it's run. not the Stop. worst. It is not the worst. No? The computer keyboard, 150 times. Uh, actually, not, uh, not 150 times. I'm sorry. Five times more disgusting than a toilet seat. I mean, you, you know, you go to a, a restroom and you kind of kick the seat up. And yeah. You don't really mm -hmm. want to touch anything. Right. And you right. Imagine trying to hover over your keyboard. Five times dirtier than a toilet seat. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh my goodness! Wow. That so you, you want to make sure you clean clean this kind of stuff with okay. Clorox wipes. So I can use that on this. Okay. Yeah, we don't want your daughter touching this kind of yes. thing. You know, that's just disgusting. So right. just wipe it down. One uh -huh. of the things that most people don't do is right. they they don't let it sit. They, right. they wipe it down and they immediately wipe yes. it off. You don't want to do that. Just let it sit uh -huh. and dry off. Marinate? Yeah, yeah, let it marinate. And then once it's all done, if you've got streaks, don't breathe on it. Because uh -huh. guess what? That's just germs again. <laughs> More germs. Right. But you okay. know what? The one thing that is the, the most disgusting thing on the planet in every situation? Yeah. The remote control. I think about this in hotel rooms all the time. In the hotel room, first thing I do is I rip off that yes. comforter and yes. I won't touch it. Oh my goodness, yeah. no. Yeah. But then I pick this up and turn on Good Day. Right. Well, that's just, I mean, Good Day is fine, but don't, don't, look, don't touch the remote. I wasn't thinking about that. I was Bring thinking about, these along. I'll be in a hotel room and an ad will come on saying, the latest in adult films. And I'm going, no, and they're using that remote in this that's hotel room. Different type of dirty. Oh my gosh. All right. So, uh, so we got to clean this. Now, so are these little wipes okay for your phone? And your computer then? These, these are fine for your phone. They're fine for the keyboard, especially something like this that's kind of sealed. Yeah. You don't want to use it on a, on a screen, on screen like this, okay. uh, especially like if it's got a laminate on it, uh -huh. like an LCD screen, because you can melt the parts of the screen and make it real cloudy. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also use toothbrushes. Oh, okay. So get a special toothbrush. A little bit of alcohol, uh -huh. and you can kind of clean in between the keys, but not a lot. Don't mm -hmm. use a ton. Don't get it dripping. And how often just a should bit. you do that? Well, you know, it depends on how germophobic you are. Yeah. If you're kind of crazy, then you want to make sure you're doing it all the time because right. we sneeze, we eat, we touch yeah. things. I mean, imagine all the stuff we do just over our keyboard alone. It is... Question discussion. from the floor. Mm. Now, we've talked a lot about surface areas, but what about in the phone, all the intricate little yeah. nooks and crannies? Is there anything we should be doing? I, like, I you see people sell oxygen to blow them out. Should we be can, doing You that? can blow it out, but it's, you're just not going to get a whole lot of stuff. What I like to do is take a Q-tip and cut off a little bit of the tip, and you can stuff it right in mm. there and just kind of wiggle it, and that'll get most of the stuff out of there. A little bit of alcohol on a, on a cotton swab. Again, not dripping, just mm -hmm. a little bit, and you can kind of clean that surface off, and that'll make it clean for you. Okay. Oh, good to know. Alcohol, unlike, you know, water, you would never want to put water near your electronics, no, no. but alcohol you, evaporates instantly. Exactly, and it's safe for electronics. If you really want to be careful, turn the phone completely off before mm. you start messing around with it. You'll be super safe Good that way. Tip. All um, right. But otherwise, don't submerge it in water. That All would right. be bad. Thank you so much. Great tips as always. Nerds on call. You can contact them in the Sacramento area, 4315 at Marconi Avenue, or give them a call at 800-919-NERD. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you. For I love that. As we're talking about it, I'm getting Facebook posts on the phone saying, ooh. Ew, <laughs> yuck. All right, 928. Now, a family gets the surprise of a lifetime at their first ever baseball game. Coming up, the moment all caught on camera. Also, a deserving student doesn't have to worry about college tuition anymore. She doesn't know it yet, but she's about to win a big scholarship, and you're going to see it go down live. Courtney's going to check in with us.